Hey everyone, um, I'm recording this literally like seconds after the uh, the market closed on Tuesday. Uh, normal, you know, market at four o'clock EST, which is where I'm at for a change. And I wanted to just reflect a little on this uh, crazy day. Um, as uh, as of this moment, and of course the the Globex uh, keeps trading uh, after the four o'clock bell, but. Uh, as of this particular moment, um, I don't think any side can really declare some great victory. Uh, the ES is down a few hundredths of a percent. The uh, the NQ is up about two thirds of a percent. Crude oil's down about 1.2 percent. Um, I'm just relieved that it was a complete wipeout because after the October 13 trauma, um, I'm just really uh, skittish about what can happen. On, on days like this. Um, this is a rather drab screen you're looking at right now, but I just wanted to highlight these quite important reports coming out this week. Of course, today we got through the CPI. Uh, the core was right on the money. The uh, month over month was right on the money. The year over year was 0.2% higher, and that little tweak, uh, one out of three data points being a little bit higher was what sent things into a spasm. And then tomorrow morning, Wednesday, we've got retail and the Empire State Manufacturing Index. And then on Thursday, the PPI, which I gather is like nothing in importance compared to the CPI. And then nothing on Friday. Um, so that's that's that. Um, as far as the market itself, let's just recap the ES a little bit. Um, as is often the case, it just did just this slow drift higher, you know, all morning long, all morning long. And then we got this insanity. Let's just focus on this chunk right now. So the report came out and for liter literally one minute, less than a minute, uh, the market plunged, relatively speaking. Um, and then it started soaring. Actually, I beg your pardon. This is the this is the NQ. Let's look at the ES. That's that's what I'm sort of fixated on. Um, so we'll just zoom in on this chunk right here. Okay, okay, just like rehearsal. All right. So we had our we had our brief drop, and then we had this this giant rally. And as I've mentioned countless times, uh, what had me bug eyed was the fact that we just beautifully hit. Um, this level here. Um, the, the high today was at uh, 4186.50 and this Fibonacci retracement is at 4186.57. Literally perfect. I know it's seven cents doesn't sound like perfect but the ES trades in quarter dollar increments so there's no such thing as 0.57 so we're gonna call this perfect. Literally to the penny. Um, and I was scared to pieces. Then it started selling off and it bounced and sold off, sold off, sold off, sold off. And at the opening bell that was pretty near the low of the day, wouldn't you know it, rallied, made a new low, ran a little bit, made a new low. And so around here, I was thinking this is going to be a cool day because the bulls are going to keep kind of having these feeble attempts higher. It's going to fail lower each time and God knows how low we'll go. Well, it didn't work out that way. Um, we, we started to rally strongly, and uh, especially here, just uh, we started to rally very strongly here, and then it just sort of warbled around. And just in, in the time since I started recording this, we're down a little bit. I don't know if some big company reported something disappointing or God knows what, but um, you know, thank you, Jesus, that uh, we're not up, you know, 112 points on the ES today, because I was really concerned about some, some monstrosity. Um, as far as the NQ goes, pretty much the same deal. Well, let me asterisk that. That's not really true, is it, Tim? Um, it, it closed up about half a percent right now. So it, 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 uh, it was up today in the vicinity of where that spike was. So three times it went up there. So the NQ was relatively strong. The kind of, um, nicer part, uh, for the bears out there, was at least crude oils continue to be a little bit on the weak side. Um, this is down about one and a quarter percent. But you know, getting away from all this like minute bar business, let's just take a giant step backwards here. Um, here's the weekly chart. 
and um, you know here you can see the entirety of the Fibonacci uh, ranging from the COVID crash low to the tippity tippity top lifetime high and this right here is the line in question the 23 um, percent level which we nailed right to the penny now here is the big fat giant scary awful risk for the bears is if this pattern completes right here because you know it's all lovely that we just so happen to nail that high today but you know <laughs> it wouldn't take much to ruin that um, if if our bullish friends launch this thing from this zone basically this whole chasm is opened to them this whole zone is open up and and then and there will be chatter about new lifetime highs i mean it seems impossible it seems incredible it seems revolting but it, it will be on people's lips because this opens up and the notion of like five thousand becomes real uh, it will take a firm clear uh repulsion you know not just measured in minutes but a real repulsion from this level for this to stick now so far it has stuck you know in all good fairness it has stuck ever since um really ever since last may when it cut through this because since it cut through it it tried and tried and tried and tried and tried the biggest success it had was this about seven days or so seven or eight days that it managed to to just grasp its way above it and then ironically that began the the best hardest plunge to the uh terror stricken october 13 reversal right here um but that's where we're at you know i am i am saying out loud that the bulls have every chance to completely kill off the one or two bears left on the planet by launching off of this pattern here because this is a doozy this goes back you know um nine months i guess so that is a hell of a big thing um anyway as i as i wrap up here uh i am in 20 bearish positions really didn't change too much today uh, i confess as is typical for me i got a few new i got three new positions at pretty much the worst prices of the day when i was getting all excited about the drop um but uh, on the whole what i came in with is what i'm leaving with so 20 positions um modest amount of cash and um not oddly not thrilled with the day you know I, if you had said to me at the end of the day that the es and the rty and the ym and the cl would all be red i would be pleased but uh, i just don't feel jubilant by any stretch but at least we're done with it these cpis are very stressful so at least it's over um that's it for me uh i'll have more posts later we've got a very special post waiting for you for tonight uh happy valentine's day and um thank you for your attention i will see you later